The false card you have in your past is the Ace of Wands. Fantastic card. I love the energy. This is huge. This is pure energy. That's, that's what this card is. Energy, action. Um, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a lot of actioning happening. This is happening around your home, actually, or it was at this time. Uh, maybe you're improving things around your home, thinking about moving or something like that, moving to a better place or a bigger place or something like that. Um, I'm saying thinking about it because this is the card of, or it can be, it can be the card of potential as well. So, and I'm also looking at this big um, castle on the hill, on the left hand side of this card there's a great big castle so that's why i'm also thinking about i was i was seeing a bigger place maybe um and um yes if you look at this wand it's being held above this um castle so it's like this is what you want this is what you're putting action toward um there's also a stream under this so i'm also seeing some emotion under this um, wand and also this is about sexual energy so when i see that an emotion at the same time it might be that you know you were really attracted to someone at this time physically and emotionally and again i've seen potential so it may not be um someone who you were together with at this time it might have been the beginnings of some something or it might have been um you were just thinking about someone or you were just getting to know someone it might be something like that um yes the next card you have you passed is the four of swords so yes i'm seeing this enthusiastic um energy you have this enthusiasm about your home, something about your home or moving to another home. Um, also, you have this enthusiasm around this person and a lot of attraction as well. I'm also seeing that you, you wanted to put all of these things into place. You wanted to jump forward with this person. You wanted to put all this action into this moving or whatever this was. Um, but I'm seeing that you had some problems with your physical health at this time. I am seeing something that was forcing you to slow down. You didn't want to slow down. You wanted to rush forward into action with this Ace of Wands. But something made you slow down. Something was going on with your body, some physical problems, some illness or something like that. This was what was slowing you down at this time. So yes, the last card you have you passed is the Knight of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing a person, I'm seeing someone who might have been angry with you at this time, actually. I shouldn't laugh. This is someone from your more distant past. I'm seeing that um, you've resolved whatever issues you have with this person or you had at this time. And they should have resolved whatever issues they had with you as well. But they weren't. They were still thinking about you. They were still letting off steam about you. I'm seeing this person carrying a bit of bitterness around about you. I'm seeing that they're probably telling some people some things about you, probably talking about you. Not gossip, but I'm seeing that they had a lot of pent-up energy. They still have a lot of resentment or anger about you and they could have been just letting off steam to someone talking to someone i'm seeing this person not really taking this very seriously i'm seeing whoever they were speaking to was kind of thinking well they're just letting off steam i'm just going to let them do that they weren't actually taking what they were saying seriously but yes this person was very angry very upset very kind of not really upset but it was kind of like they were still um resenting you angry with you thinking of all of these things. They had you on their mind and they had negative things about you on um, their mind. They should have actually, I won't say they should have gotten over things. You've gotten over things. They haven't. Everyone um, processes things at their own pace. I shouldn't really say that. But yes, they hadn't gotten over whatever this was. The first card you have for your present is the Ace of Pentacles. So obviously this is a fantastic card, the best card in the world. So yes, obviously I love this card. Um, I'm seeing, yes, there's an opportunity for you. There's an opportunity coming for you. I'm seeing work opportunities, definitely. I'm seeing something that's separate from a normal job. I'm seeing something that's on top of your normal job. So you have your normal job and then you have either something on top of that, like a promotion or it could be a side business, something above that, something linked onto that or something that is... Um, You've got, you have your base job and then you have something as well, something else as well. So that's what I'm seeing this opportunity is about. I hope that makes sense. I know I'm stumbling with what I'm saying. I'm just trying to process um, what I'm seeing. So this opportunity, you might have already known about this. So 
because I'm seeing in your in your past readings, I'm just remembering you had um, some waiting for an opportunity to come in. So at this time, I'm seeing this is going to happen for you. There won't be any more waiting now. This is here for you. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is coming in for you. Um, opportunities, opportunities are also going to open up other opportunities as well. Um, and this is going to be very, um, it's going to create a lot of stability for you. Um, if you look at this card, I'll just move this so you can see. There's a path at the bottom of this card and it's heading up toward this hedge. And then it leads up to the mountains. So you have this beautiful opportunity coming for you. And then you're going to go up this path, go through this opening, and then you're going to go up some mountains. So it's going to lift you up even higher. So this is what I mean by opportunities leading to other opportunities. I'm also seeing some opportunities in love as well, leading to stability for you. You're not used to having the stability around you. That's what I'm seeing, but it is going to be very welcoming for you. You are going to have someone around you. I'm seeing this is probably someone from your past coming up again um, for this um, love opportunity. This isn't this person in the Knight of Swords. This is a different person again from your past coming back to you, giving you this beautiful stability. I'm seeing that you might have been um, holding back on getting together with this person or approaching this person either, even because um, you might have felt like you weren't quite good enough or you didn't have something in your life ready to be with this person. You felt like you had to be have something ready. That's what I'm seeing. You you felt like you had to have something ready to be with them. And yes, at this time you might be feeling ready to approach them. So this is my this might be what you're doing at this time. The next card you have your present is the four of wands. So um Yes, the Four of Wands. So, of course, yes, this is a love opportunity opening up for you. And I often see the Four of Wands as um, 11, 11, these two 11. So opening up the gates for you, opening up opportunities for you. Also welcoming, someone's welcoming you. If you look at these um, two women here, I'll just put this down. They're holding up their um, bouquets and they're saying, welcome, come through the gates. When you come through, we'll be there at the other end to welcome you. A bit like when you go when you go to the airport and you go to another country and you come through and you've got your family or friends or whoever's waiting for you at the other side, holding up bouquet of flowers or a banner or gifts or just, just there with their open arms ready to welcome you, something like that. So that's what I'm seeing, this beautiful, you've been away from someone, this is someone from your past, and you're coming back, you're reuniting with this person. They're at the other side. When you open the gates, there they are with their open arms, there to welcome you. This is very, very beautiful. This is like a homecoming feeling. That's what I'm seeing with this card. The last card you have your present is the Seven of Wands. So yes, I'll lift that up so you can see. Battles, difficulty. This is, there are some still, there are still some people around you. Sorry, there are some still, there are still some people around you. They want to cause you some problems, actually not to some people. There is one person who is trying to talk to a lot of people because if you look at all these ones, there are a lot of people against one or a lot of ones battling against one person. So this person's still talking about you at this time, this person in the Knight of Swords. They still haven't gotten over whatever's happened. They see a battle between you and them. This is mostly a battle going on inside their heads. They haven't dropped whatever has happened between you. They haven't let go of whatever this is. So yes, this is two people in your past. This is the lovely person who's reuniting and this troubled person who sees you as a problem and they see this battle going on between you and them. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, the first card you have in your future is the Six of Cups. Here we are again, reunions. There's going to be a reunion between you and this person, this lovely person in the Four of Wands. Um, and I'm seeing also you're gaining confidence as well. And I'm seeing that happening in the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You have this amazing reading. You have Ace of Wands, which is amazing energy. You have Ace of Pentacles, beautiful gift, stability, Four of Wands, beautiful welcome card and it can also be the card of marriage and the card of um, great relationship. You also have the Six of Cups which is reunion. So this is a beautiful card, this is a card, this is a beautiful reading um, for you to have. It's amazing. I never see all of these um, cards all together. But yes, um, 
also I'm seeing with the Six of Cups, this is a beautiful, innocent card. This is like, it's like a child's point of view. Because you look at these children, it looks like children here playing in the garden. So with these flowers, it's beautifully innocent. So what I'm seeing here is that in the Ace of Pentacles, I was seeing that maybe you didn't feel ready for this person for a long, long time. You weren't ready to approach them. And then you suddenly felt like that. And I'm seeing in the Six of Cups that you had no reason to feel like that because they don't care about status. They don't care about whether you look perfect, whether you have loads of money, whether you have you know, a house, whether you have all these things, whether you have you know, a fantastic car and this and that. And they don't care about all of that stuff. They see you as you and they always have. They always have. That's why they're welcoming you. They've always seen you as you. They've always thought of you as you, what's inside you, not what's outside of you. So really, um, you had nothing to worry about. That's what I'm saying. You really had nothing to worry about with them. The next card you have in future is the King of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing this difficult person, this person in the Seven of Wands and um, the Knight of Swords, this person from, this difficult person from your past. Um, this is like a soap opera, sorry, but this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. Maybe this is what your life's like. Um, yes, this person is very emotional still. They haven't gotten over whatever this is. A lot of this is still in their mind and it's still going to be like this in the future. I'm seeing they're trying to control their emotions, but they really can't. They're trying to control their emotions. This, um, this King of Cups is above trying to sit above the water, trying to sit above his emotions, but he's not um, hiding very well because you can still see all the water. <laughs> so it's like when an ostrich buries his head in the stand, you can still he see his great big body. He's, he thinks he's hiding, but he's not. So this person thinks they're hiding their emotions, they're hiding everything, but they're not. They're very clear. They haven't gotten over whatever this was. The other thing I'm seeing here is that this person might when you reunite with this person, when you get together with this other really nice person, this other really good person from your past, they might not like it. If they see that, this person actually might start to be underhand. They might try to get to you or get to this person through um, social media or something like that, because I'm seeing someone hiding, hiding behind, they might hide behind their keyboard or something like that. So just be aware of that. Be aware of the kind of pictures you post. You might post pictures of them or pictures of you, or you might even be making comments on this um, person who you're connecting with, who you're reuniting with. You might start to um, make comments on the social media. This other person might see it. So just be very careful of what you're doing because this person might be a little bit volatile. They're trying to hide their feelings. They're going to try and hide what they're doing as well. So just um, be aware of that. The last card you have for your future is the Page of Pentacles. Yes, stability. This person, this page is holding up this coin. He's holding up the stability. He's looking at it and he's saying, wow, this is an amazing thing. I have this. I'm looking up to this. I have this now. I can't believe I have this. It's in my hands, but I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. I'm not used to having this. And this is what I'm seeing here. You're not used to having the stability. You're not used to having the stability when it comes to finances. You've had a lot of ups and downs with money in your past. You're not used to having the stability when it comes to relationships. You've had a lot of terrible heartbreak in your past and you've had people leave you. So you're not used to this. And it's going to take you some time to get used to having the stability in your life. But please, whatever you do, don't throw it away. Don't sabotage yourself. Get used to this slowly. If you have a feeling that's uneasy when you have this... Um, stability with you. When you. If you have an uneasy feeling, if you feel like, oh, oh, I don't really deserve this, throw it away. Say to yourself, I reject this thought. I reject this thought. When a good thought comes into your head, say, I accept this thought. Now that seems very simple and stupid. You're probably saying, who's this stupid idiot telling me this? But this is how I work. Reject the negative. There's no use in having these thoughts that you don't deserve things because you do deserve them. Throw those thoughts out. Keep the positive ones. This is how you're slowly going to work toward knowing that you deserve these wonderful things in your life. That's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius.